So this is Mark Hoskey with Control Engineering. I'm here with uh, Mike. Mike? Hi, I'm Mike Pantolino. I'm a business manager for Rockwell Automation. I'd like to show you a little bit about one of the things we're launching in the next couple months, Factory Talk Vantage Point's new mobile interface. So if you take a look at what we have here, we're showing this off on an actual uh, mobile device. And this is a new thin UI, new thin user interface that we're putting over top of the existing vantage point. What you're able to do is go through and actually browse the model very rapidly um, and actually create new content even on a tablet. So I'm going through the model that's built inside a vantage point. In this case, it looks like it's built like a physical model. So we're going through the Chicago plant, and you can see we're going in, uh, zooming in on line one, and getting down to the extruder. So as we take a look, we can see some saved dashboards already. And in fact, what we'll do is even create a, a brand new one from scratch here. So um, we can now see that same object I was on, now we can see the different properties that are available for that. And what we can do is drag and drop these onto the canvas, and you can see it goes out and gets real-time information and shows it up there. So you actually know what it'll look like when you eventually save and are done with it. We can then split the uh, canvas so that you can actually put more widgets onto the, or more properties onto the canvas. And so uh, we can take a, uh, something like the reservoir level and also drag it onto the canvas. And you can see the rules that it's using is that it's uh, any time it sees a Boolean, it's putting certain types of widgets on the screen. Um, and then when you uh, have a gauge, it's putting, uh, or you have a, a float, it's actually putting a gauge on there. But we can actually change this in case it's important for you to be able to see a trend. And we'll go in and actually say, let's take a look at other things that we could change that, that, that uh, visual representation to. So in this case, let's actually change it over to a trend. And now you can see that we've gone out and we've got a Boolean on the top, we've got some float variables on the bottom, and we can actually drag another one of these. So we're taking a look at uh, the, uh, I think the hydraulic pressure. Let's take a look at stroke, stroke length on top of it. And again, what we're doing is building this display. And in fact, this whole, again, editor is able to be a responsive UI. And so you can see it's changing and actually adapting to the uh, size of, of the, the device. And the idea here, Mike, is to not a, adapt the operator interface from the plant, but to create what's most useful on a mobile platform. Exactly. And with Vantage Point, we really aren't dabbling into just operator and control displays, but we're able to actually pull information from lots of different places. So uh, our historian or third-party historians, um, uh, SQL databases or Oracle databases, pull it together, give it context, put it in a model. And that's been Vantage Point's value all along. Now we've got a thin UI on top of it, which allows us to expand all the different types of visualizations that you have. Great. Thanks very much. Sure thing.